Chapter 6, Season Unending There were several weeks of peace and celebration as word spread across Skyrim of Arryn's victory over Alduin. I found myself living a relatively quiet existence in Whiterun, where Arryn, Lydia, and I had set about turning his empty cottage at the center of town into a true home now that we had the chance. One quiet morning, as I cooked us a late breakfast, an audible commotion broke out outside. With a gesture of his hand, Arryn indicated that he had it under control and slid out the door as I continued preparing our meal. The sounds of commotion continued to build, and moments later he burst back through the door, shouting, Armor up! I ran to where my gear was being kept and threw my mail shirt over my head, then began hastily strapping on my breast and thigh plates. Lydia came bounding down the stairs, shield over her back, with her gauntlets under one arm and a boot in the other, hopping on one leg as she attempted to clothe the other. Within a few short minutes, the three of us were fully clad and rushing out the door. Large rocks of and flaming projectiles soared overhead as we made our way down the city's main thoroughfare toward the front gate. Outside, we found a large contingent of city guard complemented by a detachment of legionnaires preparing the city's defenses. Rika, the legate who was part of the imperial delegation at High Hrothgar, was directing the defenders as the Stormcloak army ready to assault the front gate in the distance. Slowly, a wave of bodies began flooding toward us, picking up speed as they closed the gap. Arryn, Lydia, and I had taken up positions overlooking both the main approach and the now-closed drawbridge. We began loosing arrows into the mob as it smashed against the first barricades blocking the entrance. The guardsmen poured in yet more arrows as the legionnaires braced against the barricades, adding their shields to the blockade as the Stormcloak axes tore away parts of it. More men from either side threw themselves into the large melee forming ground where the crumbling barricades once stood. We waded our way into the fighting as it became harder and harder to distinguish friend from foe in the mob. The fighting was brutal and bloody, lasting for hours and leaving very few standing. As the sun began to disappear beyond the horizon, the few remaining storm cloaks broke and fled, leaving piles of their brothers' twisted broken bodies behind them. A cheer rung out from what little was left of the city's defenses. We collapsed into bruised, bloody heaps as the legate began coordinating healers to see to the wounded, and Jarl Balgruf gave a rousing speech. We dragged ourselves back to the cottage, desperate for rest, after an entire day of fighting. I passed out immediately, only bothering to dump my plates and sleeping in my mail and leathers. In the morning, after we'd rested, we came to the joint realization that we'd inadvertently been forced to choose a side in this rekindled war, and resolved to aid the Legion in putting a swift end to Ulfric's aggression. Hey everybody, Brett from Stardust Gaming here, back with another episode of our Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Let's Play. So it's been a while, uh, a week in fact, since we last saw uh, Arryn and crew, and so obviously quite a few things have changed. I've ditched our uh, traditional adventuring armor for a full set of um, Imperial Officer's armor. We're still rocking the same weapons though, and uh, we've brought on quite a few people uh, to help us in our new endeavor, uh, the first being Vual, a okay, Vual, a wood elf archer who is going to uh, help us out. Stenvar, a big Nord that's going to uh, bring some real heft to our army with that giant great sword on his back. We have uh, Kanya Valerius, the youngest sister of the. Uh, the Valerius siblings, who insisted on joining us as well. She's quite a skilled ranger in her own right, and so it'll be yet another bow to help someday, us uh, deal, with, deal with uh, um, storm cloaks at a distance. Soren Andrelheim, one of our uh, subscriber-submitted <laughs> characters. A Nord from Donstar, you can see that on his shield there. And uh, he's carrying an axe as well as that big shield. And then, of course, uh, Eric is joining us as well because he's our... Uh, partner in crime, basically. Lydia is staying back in Whiterun to help with the defenses there to make sure that no other attacks uh, happen there. Legget Rika, however, had to move on, and so she's actually in camp here with us, and she's going to give us so our next orders. I'm so I'm going to go talk to her and see what she might have for our little um, band of misfits, I guess. So let's see what's happening here. Something to report? Just reporting for duty. You're going to Riften. My spies report the Jarl's steward Anuriel has arrangements with the Thieves Guild 
that would be rather embarrassing if made public. I need you to find evidence of her corrupt activities and use it to gain a measure of her cooperation. This will require stealth and discretion. The Jarl's guards won't take kindly to anyone rummaging through her steward's private quarters. I'll find proof and get her cooperation. Good. I can always count on you, can't I? I will train better for the future. Okay, this seems... You've been a good friend to me. That means something. Like something where we can't be too heavy-handed, so I'm going to tell them to wait. Exactly my strong suit, but all right. I'm going to tell them to wait here, and I'm going to go in by myself in some uh, more casual clothing so that we don't draw too much attention to ourselves. I'm right behind you. You go on ahead. Okay, so here we are standing outside of uh, Miss Vale Keep. I've got my um, more casual wear on, my adventuring wear, I guess. This actually isn't the original... Um, iron armor I was wearing. This is a different set that I happened to pick up, but since we needed something other than the Imperial armor to wear in here, I figured I would hold on to it. Um, it's actually the fine variant of the iron armor, so it has like carvings inlaid into it, and I might end up smithing and enchanting this to the same level as my other set and replacing it with this one. So let's head inside and see if we can't scrounge up some uh, evidence. Okay, so I'm sneaking through Miss Vale Keep here. I think this is where we want to go. Let's close this behind us just to make sure nobody follows us in here. And so we're looking for evidence. Um, maybe in the dresser? Oh, well that was easy. Letter incriminating a Nuriel. Let's grab that and then uh, let's read it really quickly here. Um, that's the one. Dear Senuriel, the Jarl has shown great wisdom in choosing you as her steward, a position well befitting your character, as it demands great cunning, grace, and, shall we say, a talent for performing one's duties tactfully and discreetly. You have become an important asset to our operation. I trust you found the dress accompanying this letter to your satisfaction. Remember, as I flourish, so too will my friends. However, I wish to remind you of your pledge to prevent Honeybrew deliveries from entering the city. I am still, I'm also still waiting for the detachment of city guards to escort my merchandise. I understand it can take time navigating around the delicate sensibilities of your mistress, the great Layla Lawgiver, but really, I've waited long enough. Provided you continue to serve my interests, I will continue to look after yours. I trust you'll be, I'll, I trust I'll be hearing from you soon, Maven. Maven Blackbriar, huh? Well, that's an interesting little, uh piece of information. I'm not going to steal anything else because I am not a thief. Just sort of a uh, spy in this particular case. Let's go ahead and close that and then we'll kind of duck our way out. That looks clear. So let's just go for it. Alright. Um, let's Wait, see. Where did she go? I guess we'll just talk to her right here. <laughs> Welcome to Mistvale Keep. I'm Jarl Layla's steward, Anuriel. You happen to recognize this? Not here. Come with me. Stay close and the guards will leave you alone. Okay. The Imperials think we need their laws. Staying close, staying close. Walking really slow. I suppose you're here to extort something from me? Is that it? Well, what is it you want? You rebels are doing a fine job of destroying yourselves. Soldiers running errands? So, you're an Imperial spy. Interesting. I have no strong love for the Stormcloaks, but I can't say I'm all that fond of the Empire either. This war of yours makes it difficult for a resourceful woman to advance her interests. Perhaps we can find a way for both of us to prosper from this unfortunate discovery? What kind of agreement did you have in mind? What if I told you about a large shipment of gold and weapons? I'm listening. Oh no, I'm no fool. You'll learn what you need to know once we've come to an agreement. How much gold and weapons are we talking? Enough to make a significant difference in the war. All right, you have a deal. Where can I find it? They're taking it by wagon to Windhelm. If you hurry, you'll catch them before they get far. 
It'll be a fairly slow-moving caravan. The shipment is quite heavy and guarded by many men. Now let's pretend we never had this discussion. Right. You're welcome in Riften, as long as you continue to obey our laws. Will do. So let's go talk to Rika and let her know about what we found. Okay, so we're back to camp and we are reclad in our Imperial armor, so let's talk to Rika, see what she's got to say about the information that we found. The General and I have our disagreements, but he's the best hope for both the Empire and Skyrim. The steward told me that there's a shipment of coin traveling to Windhelm. Excellent work. I knew you'd bring back something useful. It just so happens that I've got some scouts along the road. Meet up with them and together see if you can't overpower the caravan. Will do. Alright, let's grab our guys and go. You've been a good friend to me. Good. Let's go find something to fight. We sure will. Okay, here we are. If those rebels think they can best us, they have another thing coming. Well, well, look who it is. How have you been? Oh, it's Hadvar. I'm alright. How are you? Good to hear. I need this to go well. This is my first real command since they promoted me after White Run. You know, some nights when I close my eyes, I see the battle stretched out before me. Like I'm still there. Do the men you've killed haunt you? Mine do. Only a beast could kill without feeling. I suppose you're right. They say it gets easier. I'm not sure if that's a good thing. But never mind all that. What brings you out this way? There's an enemy wagon loaded with coins and weapons. We're going to capture it. Really? It just so happens we've been tracking your wagon. For about a day now. So that's what's in there. Coins and weapons. How do you know that? It doesn't matter. Oh, fine. Keep your secrets. I see how it is. That wagon recently had a little accident. They're stranded now. Just off the road. We're outnumbered, but I have a plan. You got here just in time. So what's the plan? First, we're going to take out the sentry. Then we'll situate ourselves overlooking the camp. Next, you'll infiltrate the position and get their attention, while we hit them with a barrage of arrows. With a bit of luck, we'll catch them completely off guard and even the orts a little. Sounds good. Let's do it. Good. There's a sentry patrolling the hill. We go in quiet and drop him with a combined arrow barrage. Keep low, fire on my word. Can do. Hopefully I can see this guy, it's a bit dark. I don't want to be burning my torch right up next to the uh, enemy position though. Yeah, I can't see anything. Where is this guy? I'm gonna like walk right into him, watch. Yeah, I can't see a damn thing. That's not helping. What are you shooting at? Oh, that. There, I got him. Okay. I assume the uh, rest of the enemies are down here. Yep. Uh, I can't see anybody else, so let's just get down there. Yikes. That looked like it hurt. Anybody else? Oh, still getting shot with arrows. Ah, here you are. Okay, well that went pretty smoothly. You guys got anything on you? Some gold, some arrows, I'll take it. What about you? It's to be about the same, minus the arrows. A couple of bodies down here. Cool. Alright, Havvar. 
Yes. That's Stenvar, never mind. Lead on then. Wrong Nord. Same armor though. Honor and glory to ourselves and each other. What are you guys fighting? I need some They say fall me more than they care about themselves. And you guys aren't very accurate, are you? All matter of undead. Stay sharp. I have no idea what he's going after. Let's find uh, Hadvar though. Ah, here he is. What the rebels like to forget the empires must keep a dominion out of Skyrim. Ah, there you are. We make quite the team, eh? I'll stay here and guard the shipment. You get back to camp with the news. Can do. Have send some men with the new wagon. This one isn't going anywhere. All right, I will. Good work. I'll send some men with a wagon to collect the prize. We can use the weapons here, and I'll pass on the coin to Solitude. What's next? Your objective is Fort Greenwald. Meet the soldiers preparing for the attack, then join them in wiping oh, out the rebels. Once you prevail, we will garrison the fort. Well, soldier, are you up to the task? Of course. The fort's as good as ours. I knew I could count on you, soldier. Okay, well, it looks like we're going to take the fort. I will see you guys there. All right, here we are. Looks like we're just going right in. There's quite a few defenders on the wall, though. I'll do my best to uh, deal with them at a distance. Ouch. I should clear the uh, walls a bit. Let's try a little bit higher, maybe. No, that ain't gonna work. There we go. Clear these out for everybody else. Okay, and I don't suppose I could get up that way, could I? Bust it down. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> okay, now that we're through, hopefully the Imperials don't hate me for killing so many of their men. Oh, I need some uh, potions. There we go. Come on, cut through, cut through. There it is. Got with the backhanded swing. There's another one down. How many are left? Yikes. Let's, uh, let's grab a couple more of those potions. Oh, somebody got him in the back. There we go. Nice. Right through the shield. Oh, there's quite a few of them over here, isn't there? Uh-oh. Let's take a few more of those. Gotcha. Damn it, hold still. Oh, you're already dead. There's still somebody in that tower, so let's get him. Oh, he's right here. She is right here. There we go. Anybody else? Oh, there's still quite a few, actually. Oh, sorry. And is that the last one? No, there's one way over there. Let's make sure nobody escapes. Like, ah, there you are. Is that the last one? It would appear so. Okay, so now that I'm entirely riddled with arrows and we've taken the rift for the Empire, I think we're going to go ahead and break off the episode here. I'll report to General Tullius between episodes and come back to you guys with a new mission like a for this war. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Skyrim with you. And I look forward to seeing you back here for the next episode.